Hello everyone and welcome to today's masterclass. Today we are going to cover the most important concept for the entire test. This one concept will help you understand how the questions are framed and will boost your accuracy in almost all the questions of PDE. But there are some specific questions that I will target which have a direct application of this concept. So today we are looking at this summary concept. What is the PDE exam logic? for the definition of a summary. This is directly tested on the speaking section in the form of your described image, which is nothing but the summary of an image. A retail lecture, which is nothing but the summary of a lecture. Writing section, summarize written text. Reading section, multiple choice question based on the passage summary. Fill in the blanks, which are all based on the summary again, especially the, the questions that you find difficult, you will, you will realize that all the blanks are linked to the main summary of the passage. Listening section, summarize spoken text and highlight correct summary. So this is the checklist of concepts. I will demonstrate their direct applications using a few examples. A summary as per the PDA exam logic always contains the main topic. The main topic can be one words, two words. It need not always be present, uh, you know, very sort of, uh, you know, explicitly. You, you can just have multiple examples which all point to the same main idea, right? So the main topic, figuring that out is really, really important once you understand all the concepts of main topic, which again, a detailed lecture, I will try to do it later. But just today, giving you a gist of the most important concept and its application. A summary identifies the link between important subtopics. This is very critical, especially for your describe image and retail lecture questions. Uh, that is how your understanding of the question is tested. Having said that, again, the speaking section has gone through scoring changes. So the number one thing that you want to be focusing on in speaking is your fluency rather than anything else. Uh, so please also make sure that apart from the concepts, the question concepts, you're also aware of all the updated scoring criteria. So fluency and intonation uh, are very very critical for you uh, getting your uh, you know speaking score a summary is never an exact repetition of all the facts and details and examples now this one really really boggles my mind um, why are you repeating the exact text from the image from the you know summary writing question your marks are going to be directly impacted if you lift phrases from the audio from the passage or from anything printed on the screen your marks are based on the fact that you summarize in your own words, okay? Because that is how a summary is defined. It is never an exact repetition of the question. Of course, so paraphrasing is important. Whether you are speaking the answer or writing the answer or whether you are choosing it from a list of multiple choice options, you have to understand that it is not going to be an exact copy of whatever was mentioned. A summary is complete only when it can act as a one-line heading for the entire question. Now, the completeness of the summary is really, really important for reading and listening sections. The most accurate summary is the one which fits into all the paragraphs. That means that if you can't nail the main topic of the entire question, you want to nail it para by para. What is the topic of this paragraph? What is the topic of paragraph 2? What is the topic of paragraph 3? Put them all together. The one topic which is coming more right for example there are five paras and three paras have the same topic two of them have the other one then that one that is present in three paragraphs is the bigger topic is the bigger set under which everything else is a subset right and the completeness of the summary is also very critical for highlight correct summary question fifth concept a summary answers both what is happening and why is it happening so the purpose of the audio or the text that is also mentioned in your options. You know, when your options are framed, that whole elimination process that you do in your reading MCQs and in your listening highlight correct summary is based on this process, right? Also, when you're giving your answer for retail lecture or summarize spoken text or summarize written text, you have to provide an overview of what is happening instead of repeating something, right? So you want your summary to be complete. You want it to contain the main topic, the link between the topics, what is it it's an interview or it's a lecture why is it what is the purpose of this image the, the purpose of this image is to show you how much of the housing uh, you know sector real estate has developed over this time period 
right so once you understand this logic no answer is going to be difficult for you because you are going to really understand what the test is asking you to do right whether it is describe image or retell lecture or summarize spoken text or summarize written text or whether it is any summary question related to the reading section uh, where highlight the main theme of the passage what does the author most uh, agree or disagree with all of these are summary based questions and the last point the sixth concept is about the viewpoint and the tone if the author is saying something positive the answer will also be an option choice which says something positive in tone if the passage is neutral the answer will also be neutral if the passage is negative the answer will also have a negative tone to it tone concept is really really tested in the reading section so let's see how these concepts are directly applied in your questions Okay, so let's look at this question. This is your reading multiple choice question, single response, a passage given on the left, on the right hand side. You are asked, read the passage and choose the best title for it. Now, the number one strategy that I tell in MCQs is to not look at the options first, right? So that is very, very important because you want to have a one line summary in your head first. Uh, that is the whole reason for giving you that concept sheet that you need to have that one line there, that predicted answer must be there in your head before you start attempting your fill in the blanks your reading mcqs your listening mcqs okay so uh, i'll give you a minute go through the text on the left uh, figure out the topic for each paragraph put them all together figure out the main topic that must match your answer of course you can pause the video as well right so that you have that time I really really try to make short videos but it never happens because there's always so much to share uh, you know though I have taken your feedback into account I'm really really getting into the concepts without really you know telling you too much um, of how it works and why it works and you know showing you all the scorecards so you can see that these videos are bang on and you, you are going to get your uh, 79 plus if you are targeting these are advanced lectures if you are a first time test taker i will strongly recommend that you go through the orientation playlist which i have shared in the description box of this video because you need to understand what we are doing for you to be able to benefit from it since most of you are repeat test takers and you really uh, you know are looking for these kind of lectures that's why i'm putting them here okay so let's review Now, the first paragraph on the left, the main topic is Dennis Tito. That is the person I am talking about. The second paragraph, Tito met criticism from NASA. Again, the, the repetition tells me that Dennis Tito is important. Another topic coming in, in the form of NASA. Third one, so that is a subtopic. There's a distinguishing feature between a main topic and a subtopic. A, a main topic will repeat everywhere. Okay, it'll be the one that is maximum, uh, you know, occurring in all the paragraphs okay and the third one in the decade since dennis tito journeyed eight private citizens have paid to travel to space so again they're talking about all the people who have traveled to space put all of them three together we see dennis tito right emerging as the main topic now if you look at your answer list on the right hand side a lot of people have marked option a but i am not talking about tourism i'm talking about space travel space tourism the word space is missing from option a hence it is incomplete topic it is not talking about Dennis Tito, hence it is incomplete. So understanding this concept directly helps you nail your answer, right? The first space tourist, who is the first space tourist? Dennis Tito. Is he the focus of my passage? Yes, the top two paragraphs out of three are focused on him, right? The pros and cons of space tourism. Pros are something positive, cons are something negative. There is nothing negative here. The passage is very positive. It talks about how Dennis Tito went into space and then since then a lot of other people have also gone right so it's overall very like positive or in the sense you know little little on that side where it's it's almost you know narrating a story it's not somebody giving you their very sort of uh, you know blanket positive or negative viewpoint right so I'm not listing advantages and disadvantages there are no cons right so concept of tone really comes into play that C cannot be the option even though it has the correct topic it does not have the correct tone I'm not talking about any cons here right cons have to be negative in nature like what are the dangers of space tourism right okay so criticism 
or the fact that it was uh, the administrator of NASA considered it inappropriate for a tourist to take a ride into space. It, it's not, uh, it's telling you Daniel Golden's, um, you know, take. It is not telling you what is the negative side of space tourism, right? Are you getting that? So that is how all the concepts together help you figure out the correct summary and help you eliminate the incorrect options and to get the right answer. But you have to do this process right. American space travel achievements. Uh, in the third paragraph, it does talk about the fact that uh, in the International Space Station, there are eight private citizens who have gone there, right? But can I use this as a heading for the entire paragraph, for the entire, sorry, passage? No, I can't, right? So that is why that, that concept list is very important, uh, you know, can I use this as a heading for everything that is covered here? No, I cannot. Because who is the main topic? The main topic is Dennis Tito and his experiences with space tourism, right? If I have to have a one line summary in my mind, that will contain all the three things that are happening in the three paragraphs here, right? And that one line summary in my head was that Dennis Tito went, was this the first space tourist uh, he did a commercial space flight, right? Look at something about Russian Federal Space Agency as well. So I am not only talking about American space travel achievements, right? Okay. Um, so this is important. NASA is a subtopic, right? NASA is not the main topic. Dennis Tito is the main topic. All the three paragraphs are connected to him. And therefore, my correct answer becomes option B, the first space tourist. Correct topic complete header for the all the paragraphs correct tone right his story is being narrated there's nothing wrong with the second option and that is why one other good way to eliminate and f find out the right answer find if there is something wrong in the in each option if you don't find something wrong keep that and then take a call but this that concept sheet those six concepts have to be crystal clear and then how to go about applying them in each each question type right that further also you need to do so the best title for this passage is the first space tourist, Dennis Tito and his experiences, right? Okay, so that's how we do these kind of questions. Again, with respect to the PDE 2018 pattern, uh, you know, speaking is all about the fluency. Now, when I have to give a fluent answer here, right? If I have such kind of a graph, um, the focus is again on the summarizing technique where I want to look at how the populations of old people in US, Sweden and Japan with respect to each other have moved, right? So the link between the subtopics, concept application, that I am not just wasting my time looking at that point, that number, that figure, because it is, you know, the graph size is also not that big, right? Okay, you have to be used to reading a graph on a computer screen of a smaller size so you don't want to again you know the mistake that a lot of people may will make is they will waste a lot of the 25 seconds in figuring out those numbers looking at those exact percentages rather than composing their sentences right so make sure that you are using a template and make sure that when you have such a question the first thing that you look at is you know whether the increase of the old population for which country it is the highest if you see that Japan is the one which is most changing right okay with respect to US or Sweden uh, Japan is is the one that is really worthy of consideration and that is how what helps you nail the purpose of the image the purpose of the image is to show you that in Japan the proportion of old people was the lowest right but then by 2040 it is projected to reach the highest figure more than 25 percent right if you want to say that that's great but highest out of all the three countries us sweden and japan us starts off with the maximum number of old people but ends up with the lowest proportion of old people sweden remains median right it remains the second out of the three so it's about the ranking of the three countries rather than just saying you know numbers and repeating yourself and copying the language again if you repeat the text from the image that if you say something like comparison of senior population in US, Sweden and Japan from 1940 to 2040, the thing that is printed on the image itself, you will lose points. So remember a summary concept that is exactly what is being tested, your own words, no repetition, overall purpose of the image to show the you know uh, changes in the elderly population of three developed nations and then the link between the subtopics that is the 
second and third sentence of this image, right? Okay, so please make sure that you apply this uh, concept sheet, memorize the summary concept sheet and apply it in all these questions. Okay, so as you get ready to listen to the recording, remember that the number one thing for highlight correct summary in the listening section is just the key points and the summary concept that we are now doing. It is different from the MCQ where you need to note down all the facts, right? So specifically for this question, focus more on understanding and not merely listening. You should note down the key points, especially the topics, the subtopics, any positive or negative viewpoint that the speaker might be sharing, the you know linkage between the various subtopics like we have just seen in the summary concept. So that entire checklist of what is a summary needs to be crystal clear in your head as you listen to the audio and then run through the options, right? So just make sure that before, uh, now we are just going to play the audio, but get ready with a pen and paper. On the test, you will have a whiteboard booklet with you. So I definitely recommend noting down main words keywords not everything and using a shorthand like a uh, you know like what stenographers used to do right using shortcut symbols whatever all of that stuff will help you uh, so remember that don't try to write down everything but write down just the few key points and focus on understanding the lecture that is very very critical here For decades, Americans have seen celebrities through the gaze of Mark Seliger. He's a photographer whose work has appeared in magazines like Vanity Fair, GQ, and Rolling Stone. Now a new coffee table book collects some of his best images from 30 years, including presidents, actors, and rock stars. I began by asking him what he thinks makes an image look like a typical Mark Seliger photograph. I would say one of my gifts in creating is having a sense of humor to the work. And whether it's a big concept or whether it's a wink is really, you know, kind of the, the, the broad strokes of the way that I think about photography. So I'd say humor, and I'd also say that I started in magazine photography with really a, a good balance about color, and that at the time that I started, not a lot of people did that, so that was a benefit for me. When you talk about putting humor in your photographs, it's easy to see how you do that with, for example, a photograph of Jerry Seinfeld as the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, <laughs> which is one of the images of this book. Yeah. But then you're also photographing politicians and rappers and people who don't necessarily have a reputation for having a sense of humor. Have there been instances you've tried to inject humor into those photographs with more or less success? Sometimes I won't tell the subject what I'm going to be up to, but I always have a backup plan, and that is usually a very simple portrait. And, you know, at times, the simplest portrait is the hero. It's the one that works the best. But I've been rejected. Okay, name names. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, I, one of the times I was rejected was um, we wanted to paint the Red Hot Chili Peppers red and have smoke coming out of their mouths. And I was told uh, by the band that that was not going to happen. But Flea... Who's one of the band members? One of the band members very uh, sympathetically decided that he would allow me to paint him halfway on his face. And I went ahead and did that. And he looked at me and he said, yeah, we're not going to do this. <laughs> So, <laughs> and and in hindsight, do you think it was a bad idea? Or it was do you think a, they it just was a game. It was a bad idea. It, you know, I have to admit that I've had some real loser ideas too. Was there one that surprisingly worked that you thought like the Dalai Lama wouldn't be willing to? No, it's a very formal portrait of the Dalai Lama that's in this book. But somebody like the Dalai Lama, who you thought would never be game to do something crazy, who actually was. Well, you know, the Dalai Lama is actually a really interesting story because I was told we had ten minutes with the Dalai Lama. And we set up a studio downstairs of the conference hall that he was speaking at. And in walked the Dalai Lama with, you know, some of the monks that were accompanying him. And they said, you know, you, you don't ask him to take his watch off or his glasses. And that was the first thing that I asked him to take off. Okay, let's look at concept application three, right? So never an exact repetition. Now in highlight correct summary, all the options contain parts which are lifted straight from the audio, right? But they will not contain the overall main idea. So you have to find that one option which can, again, run through that concept sheet. If you want to go back there and take a snapshot of that slide, please do that because that concept sheet is very, very critical in you answering all of these PTE questions which are based on summary. So you want to understand that it can have examples, it need not have examples, right? That, that is not what I'm checking for, whether it has all the examples or not. I'm checking for does it have the main idea 
and can it act as the header for the entire audio and of course for the highlight correct summary another challenge is the fast paced audio is your listening comprehension do you understand a variety of accents right and all of, all of those things so first work on your on all your basic problem areas and then work on the elimination technique for highlight correct summary right and again this is a high weighted question type so you want to spend time here and understand that summary concept note to attempt this well so when um, I look at my audio there are all the options contain uh, you know the photographer Mark Seliger so whatever I note down you know any big word I don't need to note down because that is gonna always be printed in my options the mistake that I see a lot of students making is that before the audio begins to play you know when the audio comes on the screen it begins in like maybe seven to eight seconds the options are in printed right in front of you so in that eight seconds you can see that the topic you can just scan through them and see that the topic is there but don't try to remember all the options because you want to again you know based on this concept you want to again listen to the recording with a very fresh mind and you want to form your own summary you want to have a predicted one line summary in your head before you look at all the options in details you can scan the options but don't try to memorize them or or think that you are going to do a cross check that will confuse you further because all the options are going to sound like audios right okay they they have parts from it right so you have to work with that approach here right that you have the complete summary which one is the most complete summary out of all and another technique that i had demonstrated when i was doing the reading mcq as well figure out what is wrong with the option if there is something which is wrong with the option which does not match with the audio's uh, you know topics and tone then you can eliminate that right okay so a typical let's look at the first option a typical mark seliger photograph conveys a sense of humor sense of humor comes a lot in the audio so this is correct good color balance color balance was mentioned attention to detail this is not mentioned in the audio he always has a backup plan because he has faced a lot of rejection in his life he has faced rejection in his work but this is not uh, you know what is the main idea right so the second part of this um, question as well as the part attention to detail there are some things which are not given which are not mentioned it's very good um, sort of uh, reason to eliminate the option and also the tone of the first option is negative right that he has faced a lot of rejection in life he, he talks about it that you know he comes up with an idea which you know the celebrity might reject like the red hot chili peppers he wanted to paint them red but they didn't like it and it, it does not translate to rejection in life right so there's a very big negative tone in this option which makes it incorrect uh, you know and it, it talks about only two things are correct here sense of humor and good color balance right that's fine let's look at option B Mark Seliger is a photographer who has clicked magazine portraits for multiple celebrities politicians actors so far making sense he completes each work by focusing on a simple portrait which he doesn't convey in advance to his subjects now here again this part a simple portrait is his backup plan that first he wants he has an interesting idea of you know what he wants to do but if it doesn't work then he has a backup plan which is a simple portrait so this is factually incorrect and again for me to be able to do this I have to understand all the, the points and I had to really really listen you know I had to focus my attention on listening and making sure that I understand everything right so his he always comes up with an interesting idea which if the idea is rejected uh, he doesn't convey that idea that interesting idea to the subject okay and if it is rejected then he clicks a simple portrait okay so the fact that the simple portrait idea that is not what he conveys uh, that is not what he doesn't convey in advance with subjects right that that phrase is referring to the subtopic of the interesting idea and not the backup plan which was the simple portrait right so connections between different topics the links concept two also coming into play right so all the concepts are going to be tested you can definitely re-listen to the audio to you know cross check you might have to listen to it today a few times to understand how these concepts work give yourself time to pick them up you have to be very patient with yourself right but this is how the test is designed and once you start understanding this framework the answer will really jump at you you know the audio is an interview with celebrated photographer mark seliger yes most defining features of his work yes along with his experiences with famous people such as the Dalai Lama, Jerry Seinfeld, Red Hot Chili Peppers, that band and all those things. Now, 
there is nothing wrong that i can find in this option because that entire audio can be given a heading called an interview with M mark seliger and the defining features of his work right okay and only one of the examples is listed here which is fine you know i don't need to repeat all the examples and details right this option c is what is bang on our definition of a summary as per the pda exam logic right i hope now you are beginning to see how we are going about analyzing each and every option look at the fourth option mark seliger is a photographer known for his work in magazines like vanity fair and gq correct he covers politicians and rappers who have a reputation for having no sense of humor now this is again uh, rappers and politicians um, this is all correct option d everything is correct he works with vanity fair and gq and he covers politicians and rappers who are known to not have uh, much of a sense of humor right but is this the summary no this is the fourth type of concept in the highlight correct summary el elimination that something can be completely correct all the facts are correct but again go back to your concept sheet can i use this as a heading for the entire audio no because i'm not just talking about the fact that he's known for his work and that he works with people who don't have much of humor but i am talking about what he does and what his experiences are and what are his photographs like right okay and he has all these interesting ideas he has a sense of humor he has good color balance and he covers you know and then if the celebrity doesn't like the idea they reject it and then he goes with a simple portrait right that's so the gist of the audio has to be crystal clear in your head for you to understand that option d is not wrong but it is incomplete and therefore the option which contains the main idea which contains the structure of the audio which is an interview right are you now seeing all the concept sheet points coming into play in the correct answer so please memorize the concept sheet the correct answer will have all of them and this is a direct direct application of uh, the summarizing concept understand it and start using it to boost your score Okay, so I hope that this lesson has been helpful to you. Spread it around, send it to those who need it. If you want to sign up for training, all my seats are currently full. Please uh, make sure that you give us time to respond. In case you uh, call us or email us and we don't get back to you, uh, please make sure that you leave a WhatsApp message, right, or an email, and just wait for it because we do have limited seats. Uh, right so i i really really appreciate your patience right so if you have an immediate test it i'm really sorry can't help you there because it does take minimum 30 hours to cover all the concepts in detail all the things that you need to know to nail that 79 plus right and then rest assured that you are going to get that 79 plus right so if you need any feedback any training support uh, please get in touch and please make sure that um you understand that everyone just signs up in advance so the slots do get full uh, so please make sure that you sign up at least a week before you plan to start your course right so make sure that you that you um you know um sort of don't expect an immediate response uh, and i i apologize for that but you know there is definitely a crunch in in terms of the number of seats right so i definitely apologize to those of you that i have not yet reached back to uh, please give me time i will get back to you and please keep working on all your problem areas and all the best and good luck for your test